In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to edit beat grids in Serato. I'm gonna show you a badly analyzed track in Serato, then we're gonna edit the beat grid and then put it back to how it's supposed to be. Let's get into it. What's going on, people? I go by the name of DJ CB, and on this channel, we try and help bedroom DJs transition over to a club DJ. If you like the sound of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, and don't forget to hit that bell notification to get notified every single time I post a video. So the track we're gonna to use today is They Ain't 100 by Fredo. When you analyze this track in Serato, it analyzes to 98 BPM, and we all know that's not the the correct BPM. The correct BPM is actually 65.5 BPM or 131 BPM. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Serato, I'm gonna show you the badly analyzed track, I'm gonna show you the wrong BPM, and I'm gonna show you how I would edit it and then put it back to the right BPM. Right, so we're over in Serato now, and as you can see, They Ain't 100 by Fredo is sitting at 98 BPM. What I usually tend to do when I'm beat gridding my tracks is go over to a site called tuneback.com and then check the actual BPM on that site. So if I go over to tune back now you can see that they ain't 100 fredo is actually 131 bpm or half of that is 65.5 what we're going to do first is load the track onto the left deck so you got the track and as you can see if we press play the beat grid is 100 not right because if you go back to the first cue point and then count the beats you can see that it's off watch this one two three four, one. There should be, the number two should actually be here. So in order to do that, all you need to do is go over to edit grid at the top here. And then you see these adjust buttons here. You can use these to move the grid along. If I start to press this button here, you can see that the number two starts to move. So what we want to do is we want to move the number two to this point here. To make it quicker, you can press this button here and it moves it a lot faster. As you can see, the BPM is actually dropping as well. Right, so now the number two, the second beat is now on the correct point. So now if we count again, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. So it's about to hit the third beat now, but do you see here, is just off of the grid. So what you can do is slightly adjust it and push it back. So now that's on the grid. Press it again. Three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Then as you can see, it is right on the grid. So you can now see on the track that it's actually in the correct place. What I tend to do as well though, is later on in the track, the grid does start to move. So what you can do is use the beat jump feature in Serato to jump along the track to see if the grid is on the correct place. So if I click the beat jump button three times, you can slightly see that this bit of the grid, so on the 18th bar, you can see that it's just slightly off. So you can just, slight, you can just move that back and then jump again. And now you can see that it's on the grid in the right place. Move along a bit more and you can see that it's here. And then we go to the end of the track. You can see it's just slightly off here, so let's move that back. Let's just double check a bit further back. Yep, and as you can see now, it's on the grid in the correct place. So before you do anything, make sure you press save. And then as you can see now, the actual BPM of the track, if I move this, is 65.5 and in the song list is actually 66 because Serato likes to round it up. The last thing you need to do before you do anything now is lock the track. If you don't lock the track, when you analyze this track again, it's gonna go back to 98. So what you need to do is press the command button on your MacBook or if you're on Windows, it's control and then click the icon here. So as you can see now, it's now locked. So if I was to drag this and put it on analyze files, you'll see an error message saying, files with locked beat grids were encountered. These files have not been analyzed. So you won't have the problem of the track jumping back to 98 BPM. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. Also, if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscriber button down below. If you want me to do some more Serato type videos, make sure you type Serato in the comments down below. I go by the name of DJ CB and we're out.